You are now listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing you the realest entertainment, information, music, lifestyle, and truth and comedy shows around. I don't count likes, calories, or blessings. I don't die with snakes or bite my tongue. It is what it is. I am what I am. I am your host of Let's Talk, Tony Williams. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to all my new listeners. Welcome to all of my on ones, day ones. Shout out to SP News Nuggets and the whole fam. Um, Amp Easy, Relentless Renee, SP, um, Investigation News. Just the whole fam over there on YouTube. Shout out to y'all. Um, today, we got an interesting story going on. Now, before I get into this story, first I'd like to say that we know there's a lot of things that's going on. And people are saying things that happened that didn't necessarily happen. And then we have people that are saying things happened that really did happen but are getting ignored. But this thing here... I would really have to say this is a disgusting story right here. It would be disgusting if it's true. And it would definitely be disgusting if it wasn't true. But here we go. Oh, before I get started, um, any images uh, used in this podcast related to this story is used under the fair use statement. Yes. So we get the business end out of the way all right now like I said disgusting story we'll get back to that Um, the headline three celebrity judge Greg Mathis accused of spitting on Detroit valet driver yeah I know I know you want to feel like it's not true I want to feel like it's not true but Hey, let's go. Celebrity celebrity judge Greg Mathis allegedly spat on a valet driver outside a Detroit restaurant during a heated argument over the keys to his Rolls Royce, according to news reporters. Mathis, who has starred in, in his own courtroom show since 1999, parked his Rolls Royce Friday Afternoon at Flood's Bar and Grill, a soul food joint. But things apparently got heated when the valet, who was out retrieving another car, had Mathis' keys in his pocket and kept the judge waiting, sources told the gossip outlet. When the valet finally returned, explained the situation and apologized for accidentally taking the keys, Mathis allegedly flew into a profanity lace tirade spat on the worker and took off, according to the report. Now, Police Sergeant Nicole Kirkwood confirmed to the Detroit News that the incident happened around 8 p.m. and declined to identify the suspect, but a police source told the outlet it was Mathis. Preliminary, we got a report that the victim was working valet parking at the time, when the suspect allegedly spat on him, Kirkwood told the outlet, apparently the suspect became upset over whether the victim had his car keys, so the suspect allegedly spat on him. But in an interview with TMC, the judge denied ever spitting on the valet and said he had to wait 40 minutes for the worker to show up. He also stated, I yelled at him and asked, why would he take my car for 40 minutes or the keys to my car, Mathis said. He began to apologize and then he said something like, I went to the store or something that was more ridiculous than the apology. So we had a little verbal back and forth and that was the extent of it. There was no spitting. He goes on to say, 
I don't know whether this is a money grab, which I suspect it is, he added. People get accused all the time, and it's not true. Mathis had not been charged in connection with the incident and says authorities have not reached out to him. Plus, he claimed he desperately needed to get to, into his car for a medical reason. He states, I just come out with some soul food on my stomach and have a 30-year stomach condition that required medicine that was in my trunk, the jurors said. So that didn't help. I needed my stomach medicine. But the valet's lawyer, Kari Mitchell, insisted to the gossip outlet that Mathis spat on both the valet's face and shirt and that the shirt will be DNA tested for saliva. Mitchell also claims Mathis walked over to some bystanders and bragged about his alleged action. Mitchell claims two people can back up his story, but Mathis said six witnesses could corroborate his account. Mathis, a Detroit native, once worked as a staffer for late city councilman Clyde Cleveland, as well as late Mayor Coleman Young. He got into trouble with the law in his youth, but ultimately turned things around, becoming a lawyer and then a judge for Detroit's 36th District Court. Now, this is my thing. Like I said before, this is disgusting. Whether he did or didn't, either way, this story is disgusting for the simple fact that like I stated before, there are a lot of things that are being said that are later being found out that it's not true. And I've stated this before. It seems like it's hanger dude season. Seriously. Like everyone is out to get money from these male celebrities. It's almost like it's a fad right now. I mean, and it don't seem to fit his character, but you never can really say what a person will or won't do. But it just makes no sense to me to ruin a career over spitting on someone. Now, spitting on someone is very disrespectful. I don't know how everyone else sees it, but it's very disrespectful. And it just doesn't seem likely that this man would do all that but again who's to say I was not there and this is allegedly that he did so I guess what doesn't come out in the wash is going to come out in the rinse but it's just it's unfortunate to have to be doing a story like this when I mean, this is about a prominent judge who, I mean, he has a career. And I wouldn't want the man to lose his career over something that he didn't do. Or if he did do it, it would be senseless to have done it. It would jeopardize his career. It just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem right. For some reason, this story just doesn't set well with me. And, I mean, Mathis stated himself he felt like it's a money grab. And he might be right on that part. But we'll have to see later on. And if any more news comes out about this, I will definitely update you all on this story. But until then... Everyone be blessed, stay beautiful, take care of each other, and let's not spit on nobody. And watch other folks, because you might get blamed for spitting on them. Alright? So y'all hold it down, take it easy. Until next time. You have been listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station. This has been Let's Talk, and I've been your host, Tony Williams. If you're listening to this on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any stories. And if you're listening to this on any of the podcast stations, 
Thank you so much. Like, follow. I'm on Spotify, Castbox FM, Google Podcast, and some other places. Um, definitely like, share, and follow on all the social media sites: Tumblr, Facebook, Snapchat, WordPress, Twitter, Instagram, of course, YouTube, and Live Me. On One Radio is powered by Spreaker.com. The On One Talk Show podcast station is found at www.spreaker.com forward slash Tony O dash and the number one. Like, share, follow, subscribe for raw, uncut truth that is On One Radio.